This is Kate Wilson, reporting from Copenhagen for the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. When you talk about power, you're talking about energy from a slew of sources, including high carbon coal, lower carbon natural gas, and near zero carbon nuclear. Here at the UN Talks, a lot of energy companies are hoping the resulting framework will focus on long-term reduction targets, allowing them to deploy technologies to mitigate emissions. The European power industry, who I'm representing here, is really looking for some long-term ambitious uh, agreement that will enable us to start planning our investments in a sensible way over the next 20-30 years. John Scowcroft is a seasoned lobbyist for the European electric industry. He and others who represent carbon intensive business groups come here to create a network of contacts they can call upon later. As you can see walking around there are policy makers all over the place. We will talk to them. Scowcroft shares with decision makers his concerns about the proposed short-term targets he says would force some sectors to invest in technology that could outlast its viability. The easiest and quickest low carbon technology we can build is actually gas. Now, if we build too much gas plant, it will be around for 20, 30 years, and actually gas has got a fair amount of carbon in it. That means uh, as we move to an even lower carbon technologies, it will become uh, a stranded investment. Other energy industries echo Scowcroft's concerns, but for natural gas, short-term targets offer an incredible opportunity, and industry representatives are making sure the UN delegates get that message. It's important that uh, what we try to really advocate is really um, the advantages of natural gas. It is the cleanest fossil fuel that we have, as we have fairly high level members in the, um, in the International Gas Union. We believe we are able to get into um, the corridors of the politicians and also through the various conferences we organize, we are able to, um, to attract lots of people and also the decision makers. This is Kate Wilson reporting from Copenhagen as part of our eight-country investigation into industry influence in the UN talks. Check back for daily updates.